We started this video about two hours ago, but I had to abort it because it was getting a little glitchy and there was no one watching. I don't know what happened. Actually, I know what happened. There was an auction going on and I had actually talked to you guys about the auction. I didn't realize that there is a time difference between Florida and Texas. So if you'll let me know if you're in the chat, I'd be ever so grateful so that I can know if the stream is good. I am still having issues just watching some things on YouTube. I was watching the auction and it kept going on and off, on and off. I got black screen. Hi, Serena. Thank you so much for being here. We were talking earlier about James Avery and everything. I know I was talking with Serena about that. So I'm not sure what's going on, why the stream is so bad. Can you let me know how the stream is now? Because actually Apple called me back to see how it was. And for some reason I missed the call. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I could probably get them to help me. So it's clear now. Okay, good. Well, I'm hoping that everyone gets the notification that I am on live you some of the things that I've gotten from some friends and I'm going to go ahead and start with that again so I can give the um, notification a chance to go out. Again, people don't really get the notifications unless they do hit that bell and unless they actually interact with the, um, with the channel. Even if you happen to be a guest on the channel, sometimes if you don't leave comments and you know, people who do interviews and stuff, if they don't leave comments or interact with the channel, they really don't, there's no way if, if you're, you know, a hundred channels that you're going to get notifications every time they go in. And thank you so much, guys, for hitting that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, I was going to show you some friend mail that I got, and I was going to Goodwill that I So I'll start with that story first. I was going to go to the Goodwill by my house, and um, because I was going to pass through there on the way home, then... As you know, if you're, new to, if you're new to the channel or old to the channel, let me tell you that we do a lot of jewelry jar and jarrings here. I do a lot of resale videos. I do a lot of thrift hauls. Thank you so much, Serena. I really appreciate it. And um, so that's why I often stop at the Goodwill to see what's new and what's happening. And on Wednesday is a day that they sometimes the counters with jewelry jars. So I called and the guy that answered the phone is normally, hey, Jude Direct, how are you? is normally the greeter there, and that's pretty much all he does. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when I called, I recognized his voice, and I said, do you guys have any jewelry jars? And he answered me really quickly, and I didn't account. And he says, no, we, what is a jewelry jar? I actually asked him that, and he couldn't answer me. So then I knew that, that he was not, you know, he didn't know. So I, And then he said, let me go find out. So he went. And he says, yeah, we usually, we don't have any today. So I said, okay, well, you know, I didn't want to drive all the way over there, even though it's on the way back, you know, it's troublesome to, to drive somewhere. And what, I'm glad you're here. And um, so I did gave, gave me the information. No, we don't have any, but he told me something about being in the back, like they hadn't put any in the back. And then I said, is there any way you can connect me to the one, the people? So he did. And then. And the people in the front, he said, you have to call them directly. So he gave me a phone number, and he gave me a phone number, Goodwill. And it wasn't until I asked where it was that I realized this was not a It was a Nadrit, so it was close to my house. So long story short, guys, I, and I did bring some footage from there to show you in one of my ride-alongs, because I do ride-along videos, too. So I hope you'll tune in for those. And... Um, I get there and it's a fabulous Goodwill that I didn't even know was literally 15 minutes from my house, but on the other end. So, well, 15 minutes from my drive back. So I stop in there and, and well, I, I called them and then I said, well, where are you? And then she was on and then I said, oh, okay, do you have any jewelry jars? And she said, yes. So I, she said, yeah, I think we have one left. See this humongous jewelry jar. And I take it because <laughs> I found it. So, hi from Ohio. Yeah, James7. Thank you so much for being here. And um, 
So I said, okay, I'll take it. And then I've learned my lesson, guys. When I see things at the Goodwill that are like jewelry related, I've learned my lesson to pay for them immediately and take them to the car. Unless they put your name on them like they're doing at some of the other Goodwills where you, they don't let you carry the jewelry. So they tell you, go ahead and give me your name and then I'll, I'll put it on there for you. And so that's what they did to the car. Then I go back and then I look at the jewelry and they're by the door. And I found a few other wonderful things. I should have brought them to you to show them to you, but I've got plenty to show you anyway. And then um, he sold me that. I think it was $35 or $29, something like that. Then I'm about to check out, and I go to the register. Well, lo and behold, there is a, hi, Violet Brown, how are you? From Indiana. There's a whole other jewelry side. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't even know there was another thing. And then there was two more jewelry jars there. Two different sizes. They were both tall, though, but one was, I guess, a little bit smaller, so one was 24 or something like that. So they let me have them. But I took them both, so I was like, oh, my gosh, I am so excited. And it was in the middle of the day. It was about 5 o'clock today. I could not, but there was still some available so late in the daytime. So I'll be probably opening that one. But hey, Linda Dunn, how are you? Thank you for being here. Um, I'll go ahead and start with the friend, ma friend mail and see if any more people hop in before we do one of these jars because I do want to do a jewelry jar or a jewelry bag because I am uh, trying to get rid of these that I bought from the same what I like to call lot because a lot of times you'll get like one earring and the other earring will be in the other jar. So I like to open things from the same store and then I am going to be doing it but I, I want to make it from a new, fresh store, you know, or a new, fresh batch. So that's what I'm going to do. So I got these gorgeous soaps. I showed them to you earlier, but like I said, I cut off the video. This one is, these were from Vanessa, and she is a wonderful subscriber. She's been a subscriber of mine for a long time, and she has sent me brand mail many times. But she knew I was kind of in a funk last week, and she sent me these, and it said something about, friends has a need more rocks and stuff like that so i thought it was so thoughtful of her and they smell so good and they don't this one is supposed to be opal guys be sure and hit the thumbs up i know only two thumbs up so be sure and do that and then this is the lapis and look at that gradation of color there it is so pretty these are so cute i'm going to put I may unwrap them just so they can smell better and look better, but I know I don't want to use them. Not right now, anyway. So those were from Vanessa. Really, really sweet of her to do that. I love them. I'm going to find a very nice little tray or ashtray, because I used to collect ashtrays, and put those on display. All right, then I was showing you also the things I got from an auction last, about two weeks ago, and these are both Sarah Coventry brooches. One is a cherry gold fill, I mean gold tone, and then the other is the strawberry. And I've seen this one in other places. I know a lot of people, a few listings I've seen it, but I've never seen it in such good condition. It's really pretty. I do want to give these, give these to my daughter who loves brooches and loves fruit and plants and anything like that, anything botanical. So I'm going to give these to her. I thought they were super cute. And then Deb was also kind enough to send me a beautiful card and this um, apple brooch. I am a teacher, so it kind of fits the theme of being a teacher, and I really appreciate that. I also love patriotic jewelry, and I love um, apples and <laughs> anything patriotic. I have a whole collection of red, white, and blue jewelry. I love it. So I was really happy to get that. It's a little mini brooch, and I think it's so different with the little green the addition of the green stem there. I think that's wonderful. So that was really sweet. So I got that. I also got a pair of earrings. These are kind of crystal-like. Really pretty. I like those a lot. And they're clip-on. And I've been doing really well with clip-ons. I um, I was trying to bid on... Oh, these are Trafari. I was trying to bid on an auction a minute ago, but I kept lagging. And I don't know what's going on. So I'm hoping the stream is better today. Hi, Bambi. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you being here. And if you are new to the channel, guys, be sure and hit the subscribe button. You'll see a lot of on jarrings here. Jewelry hauls. 
and uh, jewelry unboxings. You know, this little box, this little bag over here is calling my name. I'm going to open this bag in a little bit. This one came from Chicago, and um, it's been sitting here for probably going on two months. But like I said, I keep getting others, and then I'm like, oh, I really want to finish this batch because there's two that are from this store, and I get to, I need to go through those. And then I just saw a cameo in that other one. I think I'm going to open that one. So don't worry. I am going to open a jar for us today, a jewelry jar or a jewelry bag. Here's another set. Another pair of earrings that I got from Deb's Treasures, and she's starting to make videos as well. These are core pretty. They have a very nice color still. No loss of color there. Let me bring this light to the back. Sometimes it really shines it up too, too much. All right, looks like 14 people are here. Please say hello in the chat and let me know if the stream is good. And if it's not being... Um, fastidious i don't know what's wrong with it it was really annoying and this boy i don't even know for 10 but look how thick that sterling is that is really pretty and i love the links on it i showed it a little while ago but i don't know if you got to see see it very well i think it's so pretty I was saying earlier the only thing that would have made made it nicer is if it would have been sharks not sharks whales my daughter likes sharks, and I like whales. But uh, I love fish in general anyway. Anything marine life is is wonderful. I don't know how it even... Oh, there it is. Look at the clasp. That's kind of interesting. It looks like M's Vid 8 is here. It re reconnects quick. Oh, my goodness. So it is, it is acting ridiculous again. I'm going to have to call Apple. They actually did call me back. So we'll try to get through this. All right, and then for the sake of someone that was asking me in one of my other videos about this ring that I was wearing, they wanted to know about it. Well, this is just a ring I picked up on eBay a long time ago, actually. Hi, Thrifty Shopper. Thank you for being here. I got this a long time ago, probably, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago on eBay. And I was talking today about researching or rather search words keywords and i use those also not just for selling because i know how some buyers don't know all of the the terminology i don't really if i were selling this ring i wouldn't even call it an amethyst because i have not had it tested i don't i can't say with certainty that it is an amethyst so i if i were to list it i would have called it a purple stone and i think i either look for purple stone amethyst or alexandrite or alejandrina is what I usually look for. Hey, Nancy, the homemaker, how are you? Thank you so much for being here, guys. And um, I just liked it. I love the modernist setting on it. I think it's really pretty. So someone asked me about it, and that's it there. I guess I paid about $35 or $40. And I have run across a lot of Alexandrite on eBay, but years ago I had a, a pendant, but I sold it. I regret selling because I hear they're very hard to find now. And the Alexandrites are the ones that change color. They do have man-made ones, though, as well. So you got to be careful with that. So, yeah, that was an eBay score. I, I love, love, love uh, lurking on eBay late at night. Look for auctions that are about to end. A lot of people don't know that when you start your auction, it actually ends at that time as well. So a lot of people stay into the night to to list their things and then they're like oh why didn't anybody bid well because it ends at three in the morning you know because you were up till three in the morning listing your items so sometimes that's what happens um and then this one i really wanted you guys to get a better closer look at the the turquoise pendant the cabochon that i got from elizabeth at makeup zone it is so so pretty look at that beautiful copper matrix in there and uh, i showed it the other day when i did a a face-to-face -face video but you can't really tell when you hold it up to the camera as well as you can with the and then look at the the nugget back there Ricks on it and i love the setting i think the setting is just so pretty this was totally black black as night when i got i just polished it on the surface very very lightly because i really want to up through excuse me i'm drinking some mountain dew or something i don't know what i think it's a mexican soda actually just like mountain dew though um but yeah sean dollars for it and um 
I thought it was fake on the camera. I, I mean, a faux. I didn't think it was a real turquoise because it's so dark. I did say it was, and I bought it. I did put it on in a box, but I thought it really lent it some different length and uh, and more of a thicker chain. All right, so I got that. I think that's what I wanted to show you. I guess we can get started. Do you want to do? I'm going to go ahead and do this bag, guys, because I'm really curious now. And if we have time and we don't have another jar, okay? Where do you store all your jewelry? That's a lot. Oh, my gosh, look at this. This is sterling silver. I don't even know where this popped out of. Maybe this popped out of yesterday's jar. This is a tiny bracelet. I don't know anybody, and I, I, I was probably the kind of mother that would have put jewelry on my child, but I know that a lot of mothers don't. This just popped out right now, guys. It's like a tiny little two-inch bracelet here. How cute is that? I hadn't even noticed this. This is from Refreshing Elements, Contemporary Artisan Jewelry at un as Unique as You. Sterling Silver... Wow, this just popped out from under this bag. When the bags and things scattered everywhere. That's what happened here, I believe. I wish I knew a mother guys let your kids wear jewelry. Let me know. I'll send that to you. You know, because a lot of people don't. Some people don't even like to pierce their girls' ears anymore. We do. <laughs> my mother pierced my ears when I was... Probably not an infant, I don't think, but I think I was probably six or four, and, and I did my daughters when they were infants. I don't know. It's just culture, I guess. Some people don't like to do it. Some people do. And then I know it can be a little dangerous to have your kids wear jewelry. Let me see who else is in the chat. It looks like One Nails One was asking me about where I store my jewelry. Well, I store it wherever I can. I have a lot of jewelry boxes. I have a lot of bins. I now have a whole dresser dedicated to jewelry. I also um, got a cabinet recently, and someone told me that they had bought the cabinet. There's a video that was just uploaded maybe two weeks ago. Look for it. And it's called Jewelry Organization. And a company reached out to me and sent me a jewelry cabinet for free. And then they offered a coupon code for half price to my subscribers. And I love all that information. It was not an affiliate link. Uh, was not it was a sponsored video because they did send me a free item i love that cabinet so much that i ordered another one so i now have two and these are they're just amazing i mean they i'm going to probably get rid of some of my jewelry boxes that store my personal jewelry but for the jewelry that i sell i have it everywhere i have racks of it co coordinated by beads color whether they're bead or chain colors then i have brooches in uh, you know those bins where you can store um, Christmas ornaments I have them stored there and then I have those other kinds of just you know the not uh, Tupperware but I forget that brand that they sell at Target little you know like cabinets or file cabinets with the tiny drawers and bigger drawers I have them in there as well guys be sure and hit the thumbs up I know there's 22 people in here but only eight have hit the thumbs up and if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe as well Violet Brown, I'm glad you're here as well. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I store it. I have uh, caboodles also. You guys remember the caboodles from the 80s? This is interesting. It's two seahorses. It's a little pendant there. Hey, Barb, thank you for being here. Barb, my stream was so bad on your auction. I'm so sorry, and I'm hoping this one is not. And then I forgot that Florida is actually a different time than we are. And I was like, oh, I have time. I have an hour before your auction so i was even late but i won't miss it next time i don't know what this signifies guys but it's a cute and interesting little tie pin or something it's two seahorses enameled you know sometimes these little pins you better check them because sometimes they're i found one the other day that was from a school district and it wasn't solid gold it, well it was it was 10 carat so you can start saving them for scrap we are opening the chicago bag guys that has been sitting in my area here for two months only because I just now saw something interesting on the side, this little cameo. 
So I was like, no, I'm not going to put that one off anymore. And I usually get really good things out of those Chicago bags. And I can't even remember if this is one that my son sent me or if this is one that I picked up when I was there. Either way, they've, they've been pretty good. But the only one that wasn't that great, and I don't think I opened it in front of you guys, it was full of Christmas ornaments. But he didn't know. They kind of looked like jewelry. They were really cute. And I think they're collectible anyway. They're a collectible brand. All right, here's those little satin beads that nobody likes. Well, I don't. Maybe you do. I don't know. This is actually... I don't know. Some people may like these. I need to look on eBay. Because this is a really nice conditioned one it's not it's in very good condition it's not scraggly or discolored or anything it looks brand new so i may have to look that up all right oh look at this a little eskimo pin that's cute i think it's like a clay or a resin and this is so soft the little parka hood there this is so cute that is really... Now, this is the kind of thing that would sell on eBay. Or anywhere, for that matter. You know, it's just so different. Okay. Uh, hope earring. A nice... This might be ivory, guys. This is a nice bangle. Let me look at it closer. What do you think? It's a very nice bangle. And you can't sell ivory anyway, so I guess it's mine now. Hey, jewelry nurse, how are you? I, I have found ivory before. I think one of the very first jewelry jars I did, I found a, a plain ivory bangle. It's up there, too. And I have a... So, I, oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is definitely ivory. It's not bone. It's ivory. I can see the... What was it called? Hash marks, I think, on there. It's a little dirty, though. And ivory can be so delicate. It can crack. I have a beautiful ring, and I had another one that was a lion head. It was gorgeous, but it was actually cracked on the... And that always bothered me because it, it as you wore it, it would expand, and then you would take it off, and it would shrink back. It was so interesting. But I did sell that. I sold that on eBay before they started banning it, I guess. All right, we're going to dump this out a little bit. These are some cool hoops. Nice condition, too. You can't give them away, right? You just can't. That's why I'm like, I don't know. I don't even think you can sell it on Macari. I'm not sure. Macari, there's a few things. And I actually sold it on Etsy, now that I'm thinking about it. I think I sold that ring on Etsy. I'll have to go back and look. Because Etsy has most of my things, um, what do you call it, archived. You got a moonstone yesterday, fell in love watching. Oh, I know. I want one like Elizabeth. <laughs> I want a moonstone ring like hers. These are very nice bangles. I can see myself wearing these. I like them. They're fairly light, too, so these may just be in the keep area. This, this will probably be a harvest bracelet because it's busted, but it's got some interesting stones that can probably replace others, especially with this many. So we will put that away. And, yeah, that's a nice bracelet. You know what I like about it? It fits me better than the other bangle. I have a plain ivory bangle that's big, and that's why I don't wear it. I may have to do a giveaway. You guys let me know in the comments here in the live chat, and also come back and leave it in the comment section if you would wear ivory or if you're opposed to it. And um, Because we can't sell it. Or And or if you would like to see something like that in a giveaway. Like maybe a chosen lot instead of just a jewelry jar which i'm going to do as well but you know sometimes it's good to have variety okay what does this one say barbara i think zombie was just talking about the earrings she said they were from the 80s that had their your names on them i don't remember those but this looks like it either says barbary or maybe it's the brand no barb i can't read it but they match. There's two of them. Can you guys read that? A jewelry jar? Okay. So that's all I want to know. If you guys would be opposed to, if you only strictly want a jewelry jar as a giveaway, oh, look, here's some that are just plain. These are pretty. Or if you'd be open to like a select, something that I would select, like maybe an ivory bangle that, you know, you can't really sell, right? 
Hey, Tammy, how are you? Thank you so much. Did the notification go out late? It was so lonely here earlier. <laughs> it really is. When nobody shows up in the chat, it's like, oh my gosh. And then I'm thinking, should I have put some more tags in the... But I'm always worried that this is just a cheap little nothing. I'm always worried that the stream is messed up. I've been having a lot of issues with it. Only on the... I haven't had the trouble streaming from my... Um, from my Mac. Okay, here's another pair. It looks like we have two, so we can sell one. And here's some rhinestone. These are also matched. These are this is the Chicago bag, guys. I've had this bag in my possession for two months. It's it's it didn't look that interesting because of those pink satin beads. But then I saw a cameo in here a minute ago. Oh, look at this. A little druzy stretch. That's pretty. That's really cute. It's a real maybe man-made but it's not plastic it feels like a rock be cool oh i forgot to show you the stuff i got from um sandy and from oh i showed it earlier now i can't find it am i wearing it now i'll show you what i got from sandy when we finish up oh okay this is another thing that popped out this is cool i love alligator brooches i used to have some scatter pins with the mom and two little kids, two little babies following her. But I think I lost one baby, the mom and one baby. This is nice. Is it broken? Oh, what a shame. But look, it's only missing the pin. And I know she showed us how to repair that. So I can get my husband. Hey, Belinda, thank you for joining us. I can't believe it. There's something wrong with the notifications. I tell you, did you hit the bell, Belinda? You have to hit the bell. And I know you always interact with the with the video, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm just saying, it, there just has to be, you know, some kind of glitch going on. This is really pretty. I have to get that fixed. Somehow, some way, I need to get that fixed. If anybody else have it, has any ideas on how to fix brooches that are actually missing the little pin and not the twister mechanism, because I would think the twister mechanism would be the more troublesome. Okay. Let's keep going. Somebody told me I was lingering way too long on, on close-ups today. Okay, this is a cute, cute bangle. I don't know what this material is. It kind of looks like wood. And then, of course, there's some brass or something on there. That's pretty. And, an, again, I love when they're not too big. Like the, the ivory one. That was, that was good. What did I pay for this? $14.99. No discs. I don't get a discount in Chicago. All right, so I think we do have these two hoops. Yes, we do. Put these as a match already in my earring lot. We may even have three of these guys. Okay, two is enough. Now we have three. I'll put one in my earring lot. I may sell one. Let me see. Does anyone know if this this is true. I've heard if your ivory piece was made before, you can prove it and you can sell it. That's true. That's what I have heard on some sites. But then I've also heard they've restricted even restricted it even for not matter when it was made. So the only way to sell ivory, and I don't know because Facebook's pretty they might let you go on, you know, marketplace, maybe. But it's pretty strict. It's kind of fun to find it and just, you know, give it away. Since it's already made, it seems a shame that you. Here's a. Well, today it looks so pretty. And I have one too. It is kind of rounded out. Okay, this is a big tangled mess. These are supposed to all be straight. Take this over to my husband to untangle it. And much more time, but this is very nicely made actually. And it just looks like a bunch of multi-stranded, multi-strands coming down. Okay, here's a, a pretty earring. I like these, these are wood. And there is a match here. So that, that is good. Lagging again. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to just do one jar then. Oh, 
All right, so these are little, these are big, big hoops, wood, really nice. And I'm gonna put the stretch bracelet in the stuff. Here, I guess this did go in Barbie. I think it says Barbie like the doll, because it has the, uh, like the doll. Okay, you love buffering again. Yeah. Hmm. All right, guys, what a shame. I can't. I'm going to just have to wait, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Should I go in? Uh, am I back? Sometimes when you watch this, guys, on the replay, the buffering will disappear. Somehow or another, it fixes itself. So it's fine here. Okay, good. I don't know what's going on. This is a really nice stretch bracelet. I like it. It's got some interesting pattern going on there. Big on me, though. So let's get through this one, and then I'm going to call them again. And here's another stretch. Does anybody like stretch bracelets? Some of them are really pretty. Here's a really nice one with the little bells. Good, good, good. I'm glad it's good. This is actually an anklet. It's pretty, though. This is going into my hippie lot. I don't know if these are genuine turquoise. I don't think so. They have a pretty plain color. But it's nice. And it does. It's probably for dancing, like, or something. All right. Let's see what else we have here. A little bit of a tangulation, for sure. You like stretch bracelets? Okay, I may do that too. I may do that as a second prize for when I hit my next milestone, which is 8,000. I'm going to do a jewelry jar, and then I may do like a and it'll probably be a box full of earrings or a box full of stretch bracelets. This is pretty, and maybe even a necklace lot. That would be fun. Oh, look, these are real mother and pearl. Aren't they pretty? This is a nice charm brace, I mean necklace. Well, oh. On a flower, more abalone. Muggies. This is very nice. And let's see if there's. Hmm. Guys, but that's really pretty. I like that. All right, here we have a bracelet with um, warding off the evil eye charm there. And this is from, what does it say on here? I know, I like the jingle too. This one says, be happy. This is actually pretty. It's a small one. White bracelet. A button earring. These are some loose, well, this is actually a, a like a pin of sorts. This is just a, a spare stone, but I think this earring, no, it's a tie tack or whatever, pin. All right, here's a pretty earring, but really heavy. I don't know who could wear that. Not me, but it's nice. And we may have the other one. Here is a pair already matched up, Fashion Jewelry Black. Looks like these might be rubber. Oh, no, they're just like the white ones we just saw that had the rhinestone, but these are black. Bought 2200 open what? What did you? Oh. Bought my 2200 2, opal to be clean and they broke it. Oh my goodness. Where? You better not let them get away with that. I would get the Better Business Bureau to call them immediately. And I would threaten them with a Yelp review. That's ridiculous. They better fix that for you. I can't believe it. I'm so sorry that happened. Okay. This is weird. It's a feather that's attached to this earring. And this earring is actually pretty without the feather. I don't know why it has a feather. But there it is. I like it just pretty just by itself. I may have to yank that feather off of there. I don't really like it like that. Okay. And then here is... 
a silver tangled necklace, very tangled, multi-strand, obviously graduated. But I may save that. It's not sterling. Uh, but it is a little discolored. So I may save it. This is express, I think. Just because I could use the clasp and other things to fix other things. So I'm going to harvest that. Put it in the crafter lot. Here is a really pretty earring. Actually, they're wood. It's kind of festive. Oh my goodness. One time that happened to me. It was interesting though because I bought the the ring from the the gentleman and he, he wanted to cry when he ruined it. It was like um a, a porcelain painted um portrait of Christ on an on an 18 karat gold cigar band. It was huge. It was beautiful and it was too big. And I bought it from him. I paid for it. I think it was like $400. And he said, uh, you know, I'll size it down for you. You can come back in a couple hours. When I came back, I put it on. And when I put it on like this, it literally wiped off the face. It was so sad. So sad. And you could tell, hi, Debs, how are you? I was just showing your haul from the auction and the beautiful little brooch that you sent, the little heart. I mean, the little apple with the flag. I'm so happy to have that. Thank you so much. And your card was so sweet. I really appreciate it. I was showing that and the brooches that I got as well. They're so pretty. And the earrings, these are absolutely beautiful. Amazing condition. I'm giving these to my daughter. She loves fruit and she loves brooches. Anyway, so the, I put it on and it wiped the whole thing off. I mean, I wanted to cry. I thought the ring was so beautiful, so unique. And he's like, oh my gosh, I knew you should have removed it before I, before I sized it. And he had to give me the $400 back. Oh, look at this. This is a nice necklace. So, you know, anybody that's worth their weight and, I mean, I don't think they want to lose their entire shop over what they owe you. And that's what, what can happen with a, with a Yelp review or with the Better Business Bureau on them. Okay, so this is the cameo. That is so cute. This is really, really nicely made. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. It's got a little topaz colored heart and more there. And this chain is so pretty. Nice color. All right. Is the buffering better now, guys? No buffering. Hey, Lady Al, how are you? Oh, this is a nice one. And these beads are glass. The cord is leather. I think it has a tag on it. Kenneth Cole. Well, this is really pretty. Sort of a rose gold copper color. I like this a lot. That's pretty. I love There's a lady in, that I work with. She has a ring this color. And then she ha it's, it's actually rose gold, the band. And I don't know what the stone is, but it's like this color. It's so pretty. I need to ask her. Because I've been eyeing it for already two years. And it's like like the only ring she wears. She doesn't wear a lot of jewelry. Okay, another little bit of tangles, guys. Sorry. Uh, some faux pearls. Simple faux pearls. Probably put that in a necklace slot. Here's a one earring, and there's no really reason to put it in the onesie because this is the last of the bags. And I don't, well, I did get some more bags. from there. Like I said, I don't remember if my son brought me this bag from Chicago or if I brought it back. And those were two different times. Oh, here's a Pandora-looking bracelet. And um, so it wouldn't do me any good. It's the last one from Chicago. Okay, this one we did have Max, so we'll find out. This is a pretty bracelet. I wish it was a Pandora, but I don't think it is. But it's really pretty. I like the bead. All right. That's that. Not a bad bag for $14.99, I think. Feb, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Guys, thanks so much for hitting the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It's very thoughtful of you to do that when you walk in the door. Hi, Elaine. Thank you for being here. They tell me there's a little bit of a lag right now. I'm not sure they... Um, and and at my provider that they did with, but Apple called me back and I missed the call. But um, if it's still buffering, I'm asking them what to do. I 
things could be off. I don't know if I should have cellular, cellular data. Wow, this is one big knot. That is incredible. This is all, but I'm going to get get busy with this. Hey, Mary, how are you? It's okay. Good, good. Well, maybe we'll do another bag since a lot of people just joined us. Where were y'all? Y'all didn't get the notifications? Someone said they didn't get the notification until really late. I think it was Tammy. Okay, no, I'm not going to. Look at that. This is like almost stuck with glue, it feels like. That's how knotted. But it'll be. <laughs> he likes to do things like that. <laughs> he loves jigsaw puzzles. I don't know how people do jigsaw puzzles. So maybe he'll like working on that. Okay, here's a faux turquoise earring that also popped out of that Chicago bag. But it's only one, it looks like. This is a map. Is anybody ready? Or is it a house? What is that? Let me see if I put it here. You can see it better. Look at that. What is that? Is that a map of Illinois? I don't know. I only recognize the map of this. Valerie from Texas, how are you? I don't know what's going on. Earlier today, I had done another video but i didn't know that barb was doing i forget ahead it's later over there and it was seven it was still six over here and I, okay that's got to be a state right is it illinois i don't know so i started and i started showing everything that i got from deb at her auction and then i realized nobody was here and then i started lagging anyway so i and right now we opened one one bag but i thought that if it doesn't start buffering too bad. Because I was saying, I just yours today at the Goodwill. I didn't even realize there was another Goodwill right by my house. Look at that. That's pretty. I'm doing great. I'm doing great this evening. That almost looks like eyes, doesn't it? Looks like eyelash covered eyes there. That is so cool. And gold tone. I love blue and gold. It's not quite the color of turquoise. But it is very, very pretty. And this one has a tag too. Let's see what it's. It says Jewel Limit. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a. Uh, some of these places are like, they're like um, party, aren't they? Like home parties and stuff. Like Lita Sophia used to be a home party. That's how I heard of it. And I was always impressed with their workmanship. I thought they made really... Look at this. This is going to be pretty. don't know what it's going to be, but it's very interesting. Let me see if I can untangle it. Oh, gosh. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I also want to show you the, the stuff I got from Sandy's auction. I, I don't have it all because I put some of it in my purse. I was opening it up in the car. <laughs> I grabbed my mail and then I went to the Goodwill. I was telling the story about how they wrong phone number to a Goodwill that I was going to had jewelry jars. And then I found out that I was calling the wrong Goodwill. Well, it was very serendipitous because... They actually had three jewelry. I guess it goes something like this. It's still kind of tangled, but oh my goodness. This is why people donate their jewelry because it's so troublesome to keep keep it untangled. I re And this is so pretty. It's gold tone, but I still can't figure it out. It's too big to figure out on this table. Right now. I'm going to get my husband to untangle that, and then I'll list it because it's pretty, and I'll bet it'll sell. All right, here's something else that came out of that jar. I like these hoops without that name Barbie on them, because see, some of them are like this, but then there was a loose Barbie, and it literally is Barbie. I think it's the logo from a, from the doll, but these are pretty. These. Are... All right, guys, do you want me to try to open another another little jar, or should we call it a night and come? 
Let me know if the stream is bad. I don't want to start one and then you guys don't even enjoy it because it's a mess. But do know that when you watch the replay, they're not that bad. Uh, don't on. Hi, Susan Bishop. How are you? Let me see who else here. Mary, Patty, Lane. Question. I have a silver spoon, but it looks like someone was using it for... Are you serious? What they were using it for. Is it like a really small spoon? If it's sterling, I would still sell it. I don't know how I would list it, but spoon pendant. And would not elicit paraphernalia. Okay. Uh, do you guys want me to do an I think I'll wait till tomorrow if it's lagging. Let me know. We'll go and forge three of the rings I got from Sandy. And we'll call it a night. Okay, lady y'all. She said open it. So and more single earrings from that other place. All right. Okay, here's the other. Last of very heavy. They are crystal. Three dollars, I guess. All right, let's do which one's small. None of them are small. Let's do this one because I'm curious about that orange thing in there. This thing makes a lot of noise when you take off that too noisy. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty blurry. All right, I'm going to co go, come back tomorrow then. And um, guys, I want to thank you for being here. I'm going to call at and again. We've been on 47 minutes anyway. Uh, I will show tomorrow. And, and um, we're going to go ahead and call it a night so I can get the at and on the phone again. And I can get Apple on the phone again. And we can figure out what's going on. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please hit the thumbs up before you leave. And I'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.